all right then so now what we have to do is so we are going to do the routing for our dashboard so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this server so let me stop the server and we don't need this page.tsx over here because we are not going to keep anything in the main so i'm going to delete this page.tsx let me delete it okay so now our route is completely completed so let me create a one more route group over here called dashboard so i'm going to create a group and i'm going to change this as a dashboard it's B O A R D dashboard and inside this dashboard what we are going to do is we are going to have a very custom layout for our dashboard also so we need to create a new custom um, layout for this dashboard so let me create a new layout layout dot tsx okay and inside this dashboard we are going to have the multiple routes so i'm going to change this to the routes and inside this route for this time being i'm going to have one file called page.tsx and i'm going to say sfc and let's say dash board home page or something dashboard home page or something and inside this i'm just going to say dashboard home page save these changes all right so now if the user needs if the user is authenticated it's need to load this page uh home page dot tsx and sorry this dashboard at home page needs to be loaded in the specific layout because we don't have any layout now first we need to design the layout so let's say sfc and then i'm just going to say dashboard layout and inside this i'm gonna have a division which is going to say h full okay and inside this what we need to do we need to bring the header okay of course we need to bring the header then we need to bring the sidebar so basically what we are trying to design over here this is the complete demo that we are the the live demo that we are building so you can see we have the sidebar and this navigate routes uh, we do have two different modes right admin and the client mode if you change switch back to the admin mode you can see the jobs companies whatever you the you as the user you created and if you get back to this you can see if you exit it you can able to see the all the remaining routes which is created by the other users right so this is the client view and that's the admin view so that's the thing two different views we have even if i am the client i can able to apply for the jobs which is created by the other user and as a client i can even myself i can able to create a new jobs also where the user can other user can apply for that specific jobs okay that's the thing that we're that's a part that we are trying to create over here so sidebar and so in order to have this header so let's create the header first so header so that's the thing and inside this we are going to bring that nav bar and all those things so let's say class name and inside here i'm just for the time being i'm just going to say header okay this is the part where we need to bring the sidebar div so let's bring the sidebar and here this is the place where we are going to bring the main content which is going to render all the uh, so you can see this is the main place where the user content is being loaded so this header and the sidebar it's going to be constantly fixed in that location except this one okay if i change choose browse you can see it is changed the header is the remaining the same and the routes out and the sidebar this components remains the same inside this content is being be uh, changed over here okay now to bring those content what i need to do is i need to create a prop for this so let's create a prop children and over here let's change this to children again and this is going to be the type of react dot react node node all right and let's render that children over here so if everything is working properly so so if it is asking to save these changes and all those things don't worry about this because we deleted some file and that is being saved in your next next catch memory so you can simply delete that one because that is going to be regenerated every single time so now all i have to do is to run npm run dev and if everything is working fine now it's ask you to log in one more time so once you authenticated you should be able to see this dashboard home page which is loaded inside over here you should be able to see the header and you should see the sidebar also so save it let me authenticate it and there we go you can able to see the header sidebar and we should able to see the dashboard home page because this is the layout has been loaded and inside this main content you can see this page this division has been successfully loaded over there all right so now let's go ahead and start customizing all those things 
and let's bring it up something like this okay like this that's what we are going to do now 